Hey everybody and welcome back to the channel. Well, as a 3D artist, you know the problem of modeling cables and wires and pipes and all that kind of cool stuff, right? Well, in this very short video today, I'm going to show you guys a pretty cool tool that will help you to improve your workflow big time. Here we go. Okay, everybody, well, we're in Maya 2020, and this is a fairly short video, but nevertheless, hopefully, a very useful one. We're going to be talking about a tool that will allow you to extend NURBS. And if you, on occasion, create cables and pipes and wires and stuff like that, you will know that it's always kind of finicky to get them right the first time around, right? So you created the cable and then you think, well, I want it to be a bit longer or change it up or whatnot. That's what we're going to talk about. So if I want to create a cable, what I would typically do is go up to create, go to NURBS uh, curve tools here, and then take any of these. I'll take the top one, see the curve tool, and I'll just uh, click away and kind of create a cable lying on the floor. You get the idea, right? Okay. Now, once I'm done with that, let's say this is going to be my cable. What you'll see is that in the beginning, the first time I clicked, it created a little square. That's the beginning of my curve. And at the end, we just have a dot, right? Now, when I hit enter, this is now a NURBS object. So what if I created a cable here and I decided, well, I want to extend it a little bit. I want to make it longer. Well, I can go in here and control vertex and kind of move it around, right? hit W and do that kind of stuff. But if I want to kind of extend on it, that's not an option, okay? So let's go back to object mode. That's where the tool comes in. We're gonna go up to curves and we're gonna go to the uh, add points tool. There's not even an option here. That's how simple it is. When we click on this, it basically goes back to where we were. So I can now just click away and add on to this guy. Pretty neat, right? And I hit enter and there you go. And then you can go back in and rebuild and all that kind of cool stuff. Now you're probably wondering, well, that's all good, but what if I want to add points to the other end? Can I do that as well? Yes, you can. The only thing you have to do for that is select your curve. We're gonna go up to curves and we're gonna reverse direction. Now, when we do that and we then go back into curves and we go to add points tool, you'll see that suddenly the square is at the other end. Right, so now I can start to extend from here. And trust me, when you are creating cables, wires, pipes, and all that kind of stuff, this can be very, very useful. Like I said, very, very short video, but nevertheless, hopefully useful. Let me know in the comments, okay? Thanks for watching, see you guys next time. Bye.